The National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library presents Folk Life 101, a video series to teach about folk and traditional arts. This is a special Easter episode of Folk Life 101, and our topic is Slovak and Rusin Easter baskets. Whereas things like lamb cakes are very common in the Czech Republic, and both Czech Republic and Slovakia have a tradition of egg decorating, Many Slovaks and Rusins also belong to either Byzantine Catholic, otherwise known as Greek Catholic, or Eastern Orthodox churches. During Easter time, also known as Pascha, it is common for believers to abstain from meat, dairy, eggs, alcohol, and sweets. Therefore, the basket will be full of things that they have abstained from, as well as some other symbolic foods. Pascha or kulich, is a traditional Easter bread in Orthodox and Byzantine Catholic countries. It is sweet and is braided before baking. And as you can see from this example from Prashov in Slovakia, there is often a cross on top. In this Rusin example, the bread is accompanied by a special kind of Easter cheese. This special cheese, called either hrdka or sirek, is common among Slavs in Central and Eastern Europe. It's made with a mix of egg, milk, and a little bit of sugar, filtered through a cheesecloth, and then formed into a round shape. Jewish foodways, like this beetroot horseradish mix called shin, made their way into Easter foodways, and the red of the beets is said to symbolize the blood in Christ's death. Of course, what would an Easter basket be without eggs? And in many Pascha baskets, they are dyed red, using yellow onion skins. According to tradition, Mary Magdalene had dinner with the Emperor Tiberius Caesar. He scoffed at her, saying that a man could rise from the dead no more than the egg in her hand could turn red, and immediately the egg turned red. Candles, butter, chocolate, and of course an embroidered cover are put in the basket before it is taken to church where the priest blesses it with all the other baskets. At that point, the feast begins and people begin to eat what is in their basket. Folklife 101 was created by Nick Hartman and the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library. For more information about the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library, visit our website at www.ncsml.org.